hi and welcome back to another video as a means of wanting to create a temporal fence for our property i decided to go with bamboo fencing which meant that i had to you know find bamboos around and then use them for their fence in this video let's take a look at how i created my bamboo fence so i went around as you might have seen in some videos of mine and i actually did come by some but the free ones were you know a little bit far away so i decided to purchase the ones which were close by had them brought to the site and then i had to divide them into two for the fence so as you can see in this video i'm actually dividing the bamboos with the help of a machete as well as a bar a metal bar so after doing that you can see that i have my bamboos divided so this is just like a section or a bit a smaller chunk or section of them because i had to do a lot more to be able to finish the entire fence so that is what you can see over here now after doing that i had to prepare a couple of um, wood which were going to serve as pillars for the fence so i was going to cast concrete around the base of them so this particular one is two by two hardwood that i'm using i had to drill them and place metals in them so i created uh, three um, holes in the wood at the base and then went ahead to place three eight rod in them so as you can see uh, placing three eight rods in them and then i had them tied uh, the purpose of the rod is to be able to hold the concrete at the base so as you can see that i have the rods tied now after doing that i had to create a base a wooden base or uh, should i say mold which we're going to be used to cast the concrete so this is a mold with eight chambers um, i initially wanted to do eight pillars but i only had six of the woods available so i just went ahead to do um, six of them so i placed the mold on top of a black polyton on the concrete floor so it doesn't the concrete doesn't hold the floor so after doing that then i went ahead to place in my pillars or my woods with the iron rod at the base of them and then after doing that i went ahead to brace them with wood to have them stand straight so that um, once the concrete is cast it doesn't you know um, look bent or crooked so that is what i am actually doing in this particular video So after doing that, it was now time for me to have my concrete mixed. So I started with the sand, the quantity of sand I needed, added cement to it, and then I had to mix them together to get a fine mixture. So this is me actually mixing the cement with the sand to be able to get a fine mixture. So after doing that, it was now time for me to bring some stones uh, or introduce some stones into the mixture so that's a stones section of stones being poured into it a little bit more stones and then i went ahead to add some water to be able to mix um, the concrete together so i added a good amount of you know water in it and then i went ahead to mix it together So after mixing and having a fine mixture, I had to add a little bit of water to my molds so that, you know, uh, because it was dry, I had to place in some water. And then after that, I had to now collect my mixture or mixed concrete and then place them in the molds by the wood at the base. And then with the help of my tool, I used that to make sure the concrete were actually going in rightly at the base of the wood. So as you can see, I have all the six um, woods cast with concrete at the base with metals and the uh, wood and after that once they were dried so you can see in this video that my concrete uh, base are uh, dried and it was now time to move them to the locations where i wanted to place them for the fence so i went ahead to place them at uh, different locations um, with different intervals for the fence and then after that i had to brace them 
with two by four woods now the purpose of the two by four woods are to hold the bamboo itself in place so as you can see me packing the bamboos that i had divided to the um, parts where i was going to be working with them after doing that it was now time for me to have my bamboos you know attached to the two by four wood frame uh, i have here so then i i the tools that i used for doing this was um, a drill machine the purpose of the drill machine was to create holes in the bamboo and then i also had a hammer on standby to be able to drive nails into the um, wood initially i wanted to use screws throughout but i was going to require a lot more screws uh, the screws i had weren't so much long so i decided to just um, do away with that idea but instead create holes in the bamboos and then use the hammer to drive three inches nails into um, the bamboo to the two by four frames that i had so as you can see i've had a good quantity of the bamboos driven into the wooden frame that i had now to be able to do that basically i pick up the bamboo um, put it to the position where i want to have it i mark it to the height the desired height that i want i cut it and then i go ahead to create the holes with the drill or the drilling machine and then i go ahead to drive the nails with the hammer into the wood so here you have it uh, i had been able to do a couple of i think majority part of them as at this point so you can see it um, the height is great uh, to be able to keep up with the desired height i had to now like tie a rope which was um, from that the beginning point of the um, bamboo to the other point so that i stick to the height so that's what i did and then i went ahead to um, continue cutting and then continue driving them into the wood frame So that was basically the processes that I went through to be able to create my bamboo fence. As so as of now, I have that done just for the frontal part of the house. The idea is to, you know, use concrete or block blocks for the left side as well as the back side. And I just have the wood for the front part for now until I'm ready to create um, blocks for the front part as well um going about it i decided to bring the fence a little bit away from the actual position or the end or the edge of the land so that once it's time to do the block or the concrete part uh, i don't have to move the fence now with this particular fence also i had to go about it this way especially using the woods with the concrete at the base so that it is easier to move in case i want to change the position now this is not the final look of it because um after having it installed this way for some time it once rained there was a very you know heavy or strong winds around here so i actually pushed this down so there was a need to be able to introduce some woods at different sections to brace it to hold them firm so that once it, the air blows or the wind blows so strong it doesn't push it down so that's how come i have it looking like this now so the idea is also to add some gates to it so that will be done later and once that is done i'll share that with you as well so basically these were the processes i went through first of all identifying my bamboo having them harvested dividing them into two having the wood screen to serve as my pillars drilling them placing iron rods in them casting concrete around them and then after that placing them at the positions i want to have them using woods to brace them seven as a frame for the bam actual bamboos and then now cutting the bamboos to the desired height i want drilling them and then using nails or driving nails through them into the wood frame to be able to have them hold firm i must also say that i had to spray the bamboos with dust band to prevent termites from destroying them so basically that's just about it for this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to turn on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one